Fabian Dale fears a wanker, he wears a wanker's hat. He said that he was loyal, but he's a fucking twat. There's still loyalty in football, that's what this wanker said. But now all we want is Kieran Clark to break his fucking leg. Roll on November the 7th, Fabian Delph. Roll on November the 7th, you fucking cunt. Hello boys and girls, welcome back today. Um, I wanted to talk to you just about that's really fucked me off over the past 24 hours or so. And I mean, it's really, really pissed me right off, along with a whole bunch of other people that I know of. Now, and I just thought this is probably the best and most safest way for me to get my thoughts and feelings out without having to smash someone's face in. And it's just one particular face that I want to smash in right now. Now, as you all may or may not know, I am an Aston Villa fan. I've been a Villa fan since before I could even walk. You know, claret and blue runs through my veins. And what I've witnessed over the past 24 hours, I am so disgusted with, so annoyed at. If any of you out there follow football, you would have realised that Aston Villa has sold one of its best players. Well, Aston Villa didn't actually sell them. There was a release clause in his contract that if any club reached that amount of money, they would then have permission to speak to him and then sign him as, their play as a player of their own. The player in question is a certain Fabian Delph, who last year was given the captain's armband to captain a massive club and then there was speculation all over the media oh Manchester City are interested in him and so on and so forth and they reached Man City met the eight million pound release clause in his contract had words with him and a contract um, was agreed by all parties and on the day that he was due to go and have his medical at the Etihad Stadium up in Manchester he decided to have a sudden change of heart and say no I can't sign for Manchester City because Aston Villa have done so much for me since I've been at this club I just can't I've got to give them at least one more season and in his words, he said, I'm just showing that there is loyalty still in this game. Now, let's fast forward six days. News that Liverpool have met Christian Benteke's release clause of £32.5 million. Pounds. Well, they did just sell fucking, uh, what's his face, to Man City as well for £49 million. So it's not like they ain't got the money. But they've met the clause of Christian Benteke, 32 and a half million pounds. And finally, funnily enough, on that exact same day, Fabian Delph is seen outside the Etihad going for a medical at Manchester City and then pictures on Manchester City's official Twitter and website and everything saying they finally fucking signed him. Where the fuck's the loyalty, Fabian? Where the fuck is your loyalty? You were saying, oh, I'm just showing that there's still loyalty in this game. No, you're fucking not. You're going to Manchester City. You are not good enough to play in their team, no matter what anyone tells you. You are just going to sit on their bench for the next two, three years, waste away all that potential, waste away your England career, all because of a fucking fat paycheck. You dirty Judas bastard. I hope you rot on that Manchester City bench. And I hope that football forgets you.
you're a cunt. And even though I'm not the violent type, I would so happily smack him and keep on smacking him. And I know there's a lot of other Villa fans out there that would do exactly the same. What he has done, it's there's no way you can defend it. It's a it's unjustifiable. He's a cunt. You can't say one thing and then do the exact opposite a week later. Well, the thing is, if, if, by some miraculous miracle, he manages to actually make the, the team sheet, never mind the day squad, come November the 7th, when Manchester City take on Aston Villa at Villa Park, he is not going to be welcome there. But I've got this funny feeling that in the week coming up to it, he's going to get an injury. He's not going to be able to make the squad. He's not going to be able to make the trip to Villa Park. He's just going to sit at home on his couch, collect his money. He's a fucking cunt. I mean, last week, when he went for his medical and, you know, he agreed terms, if he had gone last week, you know, people would have been a little annoyed, but they would have understood. They would have been like, fine, you go in for the money, do whatever you want to do, you know. Yeah, you showed us loyalty last January by signing a new four-year contract, and fair play to you, because no one thought you were going to, and we thought we were going to let, we thought you were going to go on the free this summer as a free transfer but no you signed a new contract we've at least got eight million quid for you so yeah fine fair enough you've got to do what you got to do and this time and by this time today everyone would have forgotten about it football would have been fine no problems but because he said he owed Villa so much he said that there's he was proving the loyalty in the game that he was going, he was looking forward to the start of the new season and captaining this great club next year. To then fuck off back to Man City, nah, it doesn't, it doesn't sit well with anybody. With absolutely nobody, Fabian. You're a fucking cunt. And I really do hope you make it to Villa Park on November 7th because I can tell you you're in for one hell of a fucking shock. You are going to be hated. And it doesn't matter what you say in the press between now and then. No one is going to forgive you for this, Fabian. Nobody. And no one will forget either. So I do hope you're pleased with yourself, Fabian. Because you've got it coming to you. As a bit of a, a, a nice gesture... I hope you enjoy your time on the reserves bench because you ain't going to play in a team that already has Yaya Toure, that has Sterling, that has David Silva. You're not going to get a game unless someone's feeling a bit tired or someone gets an injury. That's the only time you're going to play, Fabian. That's the only time you will play. If you stayed at the Villa and, and actually remained loyal like you said you were going to be, you would have been playing every fucking game. You'd be playing for England and all the rest of it. Now you've gone to Man City, you can kiss your England career goodbye, my friend. Your career is all but over now. You fucked it up. I do hear that the, uh, the bucket seats on the Manchester City bench are heated. So come winter time, you're not going to get a cold ass. I hope you're happy with yourself, Fabian Delph. You've upset a lot of people. Please like, subscribe, and share this with anyone that you know who's a Villa fan. I'm sure they can appreciate this as much as the next. Thank you guys for watching. That's my rant done and dusted. And I'll let you go. I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye. Fuck you, Fabian Delph. Fuck you.